you were looking for somebody's son who could make you dance like this. When it comes to my name, bring no disrespect to it. Yeah, brother, tell them. I guess. Wow. Let me shout. So you can't disguise for people like Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? What's happening? My name is Omi Odike Mwachiku and this is Talk To Your Homie TV. My darling here, I love to give very sweet and juicy gifts and today I have hot gifts for you. I have a sweet tea on why Omoni. Why Omoni is doing interviews and he's casting himself. I can't blame him because he has, he has won Bibi Ninja money, you get me? So you can as well just tell you guys the real truth. I have tea on Jackie B and Michael. I have tea on Tega. Okay, that one I'm happy about. We also have tea on Emmanuel and Liko Rose. Ooh. I also have tea on, oh my gosh, man. You guys know this actress. You should know her, please. And you're bad news. Hmm. She had an event yesterday, actually. And something happened. I was like, come, let's discuss this thing because me, I don't understand it. You understand? See, eh? Before I start this thing with this particular sweet gist, subscribe to my channel because really, ah, uh ah. -uh. If you don't like to hear gist, then subscribe, yo. And give me a thumbs up because thumbs up helps videos grow. Now, let's start gist thing. Let's talk about Tega. Tega signed a deal with um, Jenny's Glow. Even though we know that Jenny's Glow is signing almost all of them. Good marketing strategy and being truthful. So, I'm not going to hate. But I'm particularly happy that Tega signed this deal with Jenny's Glow. I'm happy for Tega. I can't lie. Even though I know people will be like, oh, me say lie. Why are you happy for her? Hate her. Blah, 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 blah. See what she did? I know she did stuff in BB Ninja. I'm fully aware. But somewhere in my heart, just maybe because I'm lady just so in my heart like i feel bad for her i just want her to win if i'm being very truthful so i'm happy to see her win i'm happy to see that at least at least i hope they deal the shot above one million i, th I think it is jenny's glow she paid more than that but whatever i ate i'm happy big ups tega and money in the bank i'm so happy for tega the next gist is jackie b and michael first of all jackie b so jackie signed a deal with covify me covify me is a canadian slash nigerian brand that makes body shapers they make waist trainers they make good corsets Big ups Jackie, man. I'm happy for her. She's winning. Almost see any brand do this sign. I'm telling you because this is money in the bag. And now Jackie B and Habu Michael. You know, I asked a question earlier. Why is Michael's music not selling? You guys were like, eh, that you don't think his music is like for the Nigerian space. And I kind of almost agreed with you because I feel like in Nigeria we want Baba Tik Baba get me like that. Let's just, you know, just give us better beats here. Yeah? You know, I just feel like even though there's pressure to want to do what everybody's doing, some people are still breaking out in their own space here yeah? so let's just let's kind of help michael that's what i'm trying to say okay guess who is helping michael a lot is his girl jackie b so michael has this song called somebody's son yeah i heard you were looking for somebody's son they go make you dance like this you get me and then he has this challenge that he did he just came and gave us a dance step here and guess who made the dance step really go viral jackie b and the caption now says somebody's son made me do this michael was in the comments saying well guess what i am the somebody's son my brothers watch this video make you feel like this i heard you were looking for somebody's son who could make you dance like this i heard you were looking for somebody's son who could take you far like this i heard you were looking for somebody's son who could change your life Yo. like this with a big girl and if they talk i wouldn't give a sh if she flaked then i best he getting arrested a plus every single time i'm tested yes see the song is not that bad is it and after jackie b did her own liquor was now came and did her own i was expecting liquor was to come and give us air I mean, if we kind of compare Jackie B's dance step with Lika Rose, I think, I, I, I don't think Lika Rose like flawed Jackie B like that, you get me? I think they both did well. But what do you guys think about the song really? Like, oh, first of all, big ups any girl who's supporting her man, however you're doing it, big ups. Because climbing up in, in, in a new environment and a new industry must be hard for anybody, yeah? So when you support your spouse, even, even if it's the guy supporting the girl, because I cannot lie, my husband, when I was starting, in fact, my husband builds my first blog for me. He does like my graphics, I cannot lie. So big ups anybody support your spouse whether you guys supporting your girl girl supporting your guy just support because the person is going to grow and the person will always remember you so big up jackie b my darling let's now get quickly quickly before we put our hands dirty my love to anyola bad moss anyola bad moss is an actress here yeah, and she was celebrating her 20 years on stage but then it was what pretty mike did the pretty mike is i don't know it's a socialite that's what they call them yeah that likes to pull up stunts in people's events particularly for me that was how i got to know him 
going for events, he would just bring weird people. As there was one time he brought like pregnant women all through, you know, just pregnant women like ten line up following him. You get me? Weird, weird things like that. And then this time around, this was what he brought to the event. Take a look at it. <laughs> And they are even making a who, a who. Like, I just want to ask you if you were your event and somebody comes to the camp, people, what would you do? I, mean, I don't even think I can invite somebody like that for my own event. I look at the spiritual implication of things, but I don't play that kind of joke with me because I, I don't understand it. And it might be for trend, it might be for clout. I don't even want to care what it, what it is for, yeah? Just don't come to my event with that kind of energy. But I want to hear your opinion, though. Like, what's your take? If it were your event that you came for, like, were you just thinking, like, oh, it's fun and game? Because guess what? Him bringing those people made bloggers post it. I also put it on my page as well, yeah? So he gave the event more publicity, but I'd rather not have... In fact, I'll have publicity for my event. I just don't need that kind of crazy. But what's your opinion? Tell me in the comment section, my darling. And so now, yeah, let's get to the Emmanuel and Lika Rose gist. Now, see what happened, though. Because Emmanuel is like, see, I'm, I don't take nonsense. If you come at me or you're disrespectful, I'm going to check you, my brother. So what happened was, Lika Rose harmlessly put up a picture on social media, yeah? Fine picture of her, you get me? And fan of Azilia's fans, yeah? Now went to the picture and replied the picture and said, Emmanuel is one lucky man. Beauty, brains, honesty, and loyalty. Very lucky man, right? Someone I replied the same comment and said, Ah, he truly is a lucky man. Now put his full name, Emmanuel Umo. Hashtag, hashtag Ima Rose. Ah, Emmanuel said, Wait, wait, wait. What am I? What's happening here? He now comes and says, Wait, chill. Is this how y'all now define lucky? Like, are you guys serious? Or more, he went on to now trash them all and says, See, we can cruise and vibe together, but when it comes to my name, bring no disrespect to it. Yeah, brother, tell them the life I had and the one I'm living now. I don't owe my achievement to anyone but God. No attachments, love or respect me for who I am or bounds respectfully. You get me? So this is like a message to, you get me, over zealous Amaro's fans. Like, oh my God, chill. But you know what? I kind of see where the fans are coming from. They are just trying to just hype them as a couple. You get me? But... <sighs> Unless the fans are not reading in between the lines. When like people are saying something and you come and explain to fans, fans, I don't know, it's like they don't want to see the way people start insulting you that can't you guys read in between the lines between Emmanuel and, and Luca Rose? Can't you guys see? Like see now, open your eye and see what the problem is now. Why are you guys doing like this, man? Anyway, Sha, hope you all have heard. Respect Emmanuel, respect his name. Don't bring any form of disrespect. You get me? That way, y'all can be good and your Imaro's community can flourish. But, like, yeah, next time when you say lucky, talk about him personally because, for all we know, they might not be dating for real, for real. For all we know, Emmanuel might have a girlfriend that he's dating now. For all we know, they might be in love, but he just wants you to know that respect me as an individual. Don't describe me relating to somebody when it comes to my achievements and my life you get what i'm saying yeah what's your opinion was it too harsh could you have understood where they were coming from what do you guys think please tell me in the comment section my darling now speaking on the same point of fans will not like when you tell fans the truth they don't want to ever see the truth ah white money eh, white money gang hey white money was doing his interview and he said something like even the interviewer said, ah, that means you were pretending a BB ninja. I say interviewer. I used to state in it. But we know now. Hey, before you judge me or drag me, yeah, let me play the interview for you to watch. Then tell me what you think about this one. Oh, they don't need this house. My house is there. My card. I drive, I drive my yeah, car. Yeah, I don't see you. You just drive your car. Uh, <laughs> <don't need> <laughs> house is not inside. Is there. Is there. I never listen inside for a day. Where is it currently right now? My house. Your own personal house? Yes. Before you, brother, when you get from brother, I'll be after me, brother. I guess. Wow. Let me shout. <laughs> so you can't disguise for people, brother. You can't disguise for people. You can't disguise for people. I don't know you before. I will call you out. I'll be after me, brother. 
So White Money actually had his own personal house before he went into the house. Let me just tell you where the problem is. Before I even tell you, let me now read the comments that Perry made. I'm just going to just read the comments, child. You're smart, you can connect it, right? Perry now says, my people say, when breeze blow, Fao Nyash go open. He 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 he. Someone now said, baby boy, tell us if it is Uncle White. We won't talk. He didn't reply. I still don't get it. Patriot, who go help me? They're both laughing here. See, White Money's life in the house was such a script. Like, it was a script. Don't get angry. Don't be offended. Don't do anything bad. He said he has watched the show for five years with the intention to go into the show. You think that that person is dumb? It was a freaking script. He, he just played, but like I would always say, I cannot hate him more. He was a very smart guy. He played his card very well. He got the money and he won people's hearts here yeah? but this is just to tell bb ninja fans like can we if they do another bb ninja year yeah, can we do these things first of all please don't pick your winner on the first day it's so wrong or the first week it's i mean i, I know that because really that's how we pick our winners yeah you just from the first week you can tell who will win but let's stop it give everybody time to develop give it's just like someone like cross cross said to pick up in fact i think it was second to third week that he said to pick up but in our head, we already chose White Money as the winner. White Money played a g game. He knew BB Niger fans. He has been watching the show as a fan before. He has seen the trend. Even I have. Everybody who watches the show right now knows the trend. Gist, drama, toxic energy, kissing up and down. Someone will come and tell you how, oh, I've suffered, I've suffered. Blah, blah. White Money, it, it's, it's not bad to own a house. No, it's not. But it's amazing that in the house, all he was telling us was just his suffer story. He had never entered play before. He suffered. He got packed. Got that. He has packed. Bah, bah. You know, tell us, say you get your own house. Say you're balling. Say you're just chilling. Say we know they make noise. Say you get car. Say you're a big boy. You know, give us that gist too. I, well, I don't know, Sha, but I want to talk. I want to hear from white money gangs. What do you guys think? Do you guys feel? Oh, we know exactly. Like, I, I really want to know what's your opinion in like this interview. So he actually had a house. Imagine if he built the house himself. So he had the money to. You know why money's story in the house is not add up? If I'm being very truthful, is he add up now? One day he's giving us so far, so far story. You had the sign that he knows this person and that person, but he also has suffered. And how he has suffered? I don't know, Sha. I, as I watched that interview, I had to say, ah, let's come and do this, this one. <laughs> What's your opinion? I really want to know. Tell me in the comment section. So before I end there, I have to just remind you about our Thanksgiving service we're doing. I mean, looking at Nigeria and how we have lived in Nigeria, it has been tough and rough and scary. Like, I'm not going to lie. This year has been super scary, but somehow, somehow, God has kept us safe, secure, fed us, we didn't beg. Ah, we deserve to say thank you. So me, I'm doing my own Thanksgiving in the prison on Christmas Day to just show them love. They said we should buy books. They actually enroll them in Waiyek and Neko. So books, um, writing materials, sewing equipment. So that's thread, needle, pad, bra, pants, you know, just nighty, just things to just wear to feel comfortable. They even said we should buy mats. Like I, the man gave me so much, uh, so many ideas that I'm just reaching out to you. Me, I'm dropping 100,000 Naira for this whole cause so whether you donate or not by god's grace my money can go far but i want to do more as in i want to leave that prison that day with them just smiling and thanking god that somebody came there that's what i want to do so as in i want to have a lot of things that i'll just they'll just be like they'll be so happy that's really what i want to do from my heart so i'm putting putting it out right now if you can help if you can support if you can donate just Take it as your own Thanksgiving because people are in prison, they are locked up, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy, and I'll be making videos that day as well. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll show you like how much I've got. I think so far I've gotten 10,000 naira. I'll be showing you like what I buy, how I spend the money. I'll carry you along all through. I'm not eating anybody's money, yeah, that's God's money, really. Yeah, so if you want to be part of it, if you want to donate to the cause, I'll put my account details down below. Please just 
drop the money there. I will come and give updates on how much I've got saying what I'm going to use the money money to do going forward. But that's it, my darling. I love you. I want to hear your opinion about this whole thing. You get me? White money, Emmanuel Alika Rose, Jackie B and Michael and um, you know, all the gist really. What's your opinion? What do you think? Please talk to me in the comment section, my darling. I love you so much. Subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'll appreciate it to you. I love you with all my heart. If you love me, tell me in the comment section. Bye-bye.